Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Hooking. Welcome on back to Let's Play Legends of Zelda uh, Wind Waker. Dude, why did I just... Uh, dude, why am I so bad? Anyways, welcome on back. Last time we ended up getting to the Forsaken Fortress. Forsaken Fortress. And uh, and now we get to do this fun little mini game. Mini game's kind of giving it a lot more credit than it should be. So as you can see, you can walk here with the barrels. If you don't have the barrels, you actually get caught. And if you're moving with the barrels, you also get ca caught. So you just want to make sure you stand still once the light hits you but it's been a pretty lazy sunday for me here i've actually been playing final fantasy all day um pretty much like i, I got the pixel remasters i played through th i finished three like uh final fantasy 3 the original N a nes version and now i've been doing oh cutscene but now I i've been playing through four again it's like man i love four dude four is like my favorite honestly out of the originals well that's a lie five is but still yeah Let's go ahead and go in here. Oh my god, I have like I have the buttons backwards again, dude. I keep on doing that. I keep hitting the buttons backwards. Anyways, let's go in here. See, because we do need to get our sword too. However, I think our sword is up top there. Let's let's see what's over here. Oh, it's that Zelda theme. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? The dungeon map. Press up to view it. Green areas are the ones you visited. Flash areas current location. Till okay. So what do we got? Okay, so we're here. First floor is... Is that outside? Oh, that's the bottom floor. Okay. So I think we want to get to that place over there. Okay, let's just keep going then. Because it looks like we're going the right way. I keep on wanting to like... I'm always like worried. I keep on thinking I'm like going to get caught when I see that light shadow. Come on, give me that rupee. I'll take that rupee, please. Thank you. Anyways, I'm trying out a new mic, so if the mic quality sounds really weird, I'm sorry. I'll get it figured out eventually. I've just been, like, messing around with the settings here, so it might not be the best audio, but it's... It should be passable, like, because I can edit it all in post. That's with how I record, so I'm not too terribly worried. Well, let's see what's up here. I think... Do we want to go this way? Which way do we want to go? Oh, okay. Well, actually, we got someone here. Oh, it's the spotlights. Okay, that's right. I forgot we had to do this. Okay, well, how do we fight him? Can we get him to, to drop it? Oh, what do we do? Oh, wait, do we have anything we can fight with? Or... I don't think we have anything we can fight him with. Can we? Stop blocking on, dude. Okay, I don't think we can fight this guy. I mean, he did drop the, what's it called? The, uh... The things, the, 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 the lights, the spotlights. So I think we should be good. Let's continue on here and see. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I haven't played this in so long, dude. So long, so long. Anyways, uh, is there anything over there? No, just that. We don't want to go down there. I know we don't want to go down there. Like, if you can avoid the first floor, that's, like, for the best, honestly. Because the first floor is where you have, like, the, the big pigmen that, like, stab you in junk. So you don't want to go down there, I know that. But let's see here. Well, we have this. Oh, you can climb on top of it. Okay, let's go up here, because I know there's another spotlight up here, isn't there? Oh, well, that's actually where we want to go, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what do you have to say, Tetra? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I've got it, King. In order to reach the top of the tower where your search is being held, you have to find a room right below the tower. The path to the tower begins in the rear of that room. You got that? Okay, well, let's go ahead and see what we can find here. So, did we turn off that spotlight? I think... Did he... Did, wait, did he turn it back on? No, okay, so hold on. Let me see. So, that's that's down. So, we just have to see it, hon. No, it's back up. I feel like we have to get our sword first. Where's our sword? Our sword has to be somewhere. Our sword isn't over th up there, is it? Is it? Wait, is our sword up there? I feel like our sword's up there. Well, how do we get... Let's go over there and take a look. I, I hate to go over there and, like, then not get our sword, but... Let's take a look here, at least. Because I feel like we need our sword to fight that guy. Although, to be fair, we can't fight these guys. Can we? Okay, well, there's the area, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you've you've sniffed enough. Let's go. Enough sniffer, dude. 
Okay, let's wait for these guys to go around. Dude, get out of here, rat. Okay, hold your hold your breaths, boys. I'm telling you, this is uh this is as intense of a spy game as it gets. Hey, a lot of people want me to play like play like secret Asian games. This is about as good as you're gonna get on this channel here. Alright, let's Bruh. You cannot do you cannot just do that and walk away, dude. I'm telling you, you cannot just do that to me and walk away. Alright, let's go in here. I don't think we need this anymore. Okay, we can I was like, I was like, how do we open it? I guess we just open it. It just opens, dude. It's that simple. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close. I hope that spotlight doesn't need turned off, but I think we're gonna need to turn it off, dude. But I don't know if I need to get my mic or, or yeah, my mic. I don't know if I need to get my sword or not, dude. Yep. Oh, ho, ho, hold the phone, dude. Hold the phone, friend. Let's see here. So he's just kind of chilling. I think we gotta wait, wait for him to turn around. How far over does he come? Let's see. Dude, can I talk about anything but the game today? No, I can't. It's too intense. This game's too intense right now, dude. What would I talk about? Yo, he's got like that perfect, perfect, like, shrimp pose. Look at that. Look at that. Like, he's got his, like, his back makes the letter C, dude. His back makes the letter C. All right, let's go real quick while he's sniffing. Maybe not. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. Easy. Right, can we get in here? I don't think we... Wait, let's see if we can get in here. We cannot. Put that thing back on, Link. Put that thing back on. All right, let's keep going here then. Might as well. But yeah, no, like I said, there, I mean, there isn't much to talk about. I've been, it's been a pretty lazy day. Mostly just been lounging around. Lou lounging around, my guy. Anyways, let's keep going here. What are we gonna get? Okay, so I think I think we're good. I think we're good. You want to sidle? Such a weird word, sidle. But I think this is where you will have had that spotlight if we didn't disable it. So I'm glad we did that. Unless it's up here, and there's a second where we had to disable. That would be unfortunate. Well, that certainly is unfortunate. I don't think we make this, can we? Okay, so it comes up to about here. I don't think we're gonna be able to make this. This is gonna be very tight if we can. Well, okay, if he actually moved. Okay, go. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to make this one, Scoob. Yeah, we're not making that one. So we gotta turn off that one. And that one wasn't the one that we went to either, because that one had like a bunch of sticks and stuff on I saw. So let's go back to that one and see what we can do with it. Yeah, I know I'm caught. What are you gonna tell me? Hey, you're caught. Those searchlights are a real pain, huh? You're going to have to deal with them somehow. There's gotta be a way to get up where those searchlights are. Look around and see what you can find, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay, well, let's see what we can find in here. I know, I know, there must be an exit. That's not much help. Oh, I didn't, I didn't want to talk to you. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life in there? I'm sure I'd be surprised if I run down something like that to have a hole or two. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm looking for, Tetra. Please do not message me every 10 seconds. I'm pretty sure I have to go up here and jump across. Let's see. Hiya. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa, whoa, blue ruby, thank you very much. Can I get in there? Oh, crouch, okay, I was about to be like, I know I, I know I crouched before. Let's keep going here and see what we got. See what we got, see what we got. See what we got, yeah, exactly, turn. Next episode, there is actually gonna be a, like a bigger puzzle we have to do of that too, is the funny thing. I'm, I'm on the outside, I'm on the outside, I'm looking in, yeah. Okay, so we are already worried, so this is the first place we're at. So hold on, can we? I'm wondering if we have to go back. Let's go back out and see if, what we can find outside here. 
Because we were like towards the end of that C and we have to figure out which one's shining up. Yeah, C, okay. You see? Yeah, I know there's one shiny. Is that so that's right above us? Wait, was that the one we took out then? Yeah, okay, no, never mind. It's not the one I took out. Never mind. We're good. So yeah, see we we're we were on the right path. Oh, I can deflect it with my shield, can I? Yeah. I could just deflect it with my shield. That's super easy, dude. That's part of what I was supposed to do, probably, was just deflect the shield. Yeah, okay. Dude, it's so simple, and yet I still mess it up. How, how is it so simple, yet I still mess it up? It's always simple, and yet I still mess it up. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going here. All right, so going there. You know, I didn't expect this episode to be that long, because I remember this part being pretty quick as an adult. It's more so my childhood self that took forever to try and figure it out. Yeah, I know. I've seen the ladder, my guy. Do not tell me what to do. I swear, do not tell me what to do. I know what to do, Tetra. I'm not letting go. Okay, let's let's do this and let's actually block this time. I think are you shield? How do how do you shield? It looked like oh there is one, okay. Haha. -ha. So let's just throw this at him. Oh. No, I wanted to swing, dude. Doo -doo. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking. Yeah, there we go. So that takes care of that, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So now now we're good. Now we're pretty much Gucci to go. Let's just go do the whole thing again. Should I show you guys the whole track? I'm going to show you guys the trick back. Do not talk to me, Tetra. I know. I know. I just took out the pig. I know that means that I can get there now. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. The one thing I've noticed with this mic is like it's it's somewhat quiet. I guess that's part of the thing about being like a dynamic XLR is like it is going to be quiet, but oh well. Like I said, I can fix any issues I have in post and anything like that. Okay, well, there we go. So now we can continue on. Now we have to go through the pigs again, though. I don't want to go through the pigs again, though, dude. All the, all the things look like... Although I guess Gandorf is like a pig, isn't he? Yeah, he is, he is pretty much a pig, isn't he? Isn't he? No, he's a Garuda. His final form is like a pig, though. It's like a demon pig thing. All right, let's go here. Bruh, bruh. No, do not. You can either. I was going to say, I'm glad they gave you the free camera option here in this game. Because, man, without the free camera, that'd be rough. Okay, let's keep going here. I just have to get past these guys. So, like, you kind of want to move maneuver up here next to them so you can turn around. Give them all the room he needs to turn around. And they can go ahead and sneak on past. This guy, you want to go? Uh, do not walk into me. Do not walk into me. Bro. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that should not have worked. Okay, let's go out and get out of here. Holy crap. Talk about close calls, I swear. Okay. Yes, I see. This is where I'm supposed to go. I understand. I understand. Thanks for coming. Okay. One of the big things I did want with this mic, though, was that being dynamic, I didn't want to pick up Daisy's barking anymore, because, like, if you've watched the channel, you know Daisy always barks while I'm recording, because she loves me that much. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, I'm not moving now. So how's everybody's day? Yeah, no, like I said. We did do something with the cushions on the couch, so I've been laying out there playing video games out on the couch. Man, oh man, nothing beats that on like a week. I was gonna make a save, and I didn't. Dude! Uh, I gotta do all that again. Do I have to go and kill the searchlight, I wonder? I don't think I have to kill the search. Like, what we can see when I get outside. Crouch. Dude, I did this to myself though. Oh my god, I did this to myself. How have I done this twice now? 
This episode was not supposed to be that hard. What am I doing? Hello? Go forward and then go right? Yeah, okay, there we go. I was about to make hello. All right, so we're outside here. We'll try again. Man, oh man, what a freaking third episode, I'll tell you what. It's trash. It's all trash. That's what it is. Okay, well, I'll go this way. I know that. So we, we know where we're going. Like, we're almost there. It's just the freaking pig, dude. The freaking pig. All right, let me check out here just to make sure it's not looking up there now. It's still not. Okay, cool. So we're good. So we can... We can do this. We just need to sneak past the guys properly this time. Please sneak past them. Please sneak past them good. Yep. Yep. Okay, I was about to be like, dude, if you don't grab that. I hope the mic picked up that burp well. The mic does have clip guard in too, which is nice. Like right now, I know Rachel's getting, um, I'm using the bathroom, um, which is on the other side of my wall. Which once again, that's one of the things. I just wanted to get, get like a nice mic so I didn't pick up any of that background noise. So, that's what I'm hoping for. Okay. We'll do it again. I'm not rushing it this time. I'm waiting until I'm behind them. Honestly, these two pigs here are actually the worst of it, in my opinion. I'm just gonna wait for them to move, though, entirely over here. Like I said, I don't want to rush it. I'll, like, end up dying to something lame again. Let's move... So we want to stay away from them, so I want to stay out on the outside here. When he's sniffing is when I'm going to move. Okay, we're good. Now this guy has to turn around. Can you leave? I think the play is sit here, and then when he walks past, we can go. Like, I think this is the play right here. We'll see. That freaking mouse, dude. That mouse always gets me so nervous. So they're kind of out of sync here, which is nice. Can that guy see me, though? I don't think he can. Yes, let's go. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, for the sake of the recording, so I'm not here all day, I am going to make a safety save. In which case, I will be right back after this cutscene. Hold on, let me, well, let's watch the cutscene here for the third time. Okay, I'll make a safety save. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Safety save made. I'm not going to make this mistake again. I promise you, I will not make that mistake again. I am I'm ready to go. We are, we are not falling back in jail again. And if we do, we'll just meet you back out here. Excuse me? Can you move, sir? Dude, it, how can he see me? How can he see me? Like I said, we are not doing that anymore. We are back at it. And we are going to actually do it this time. So he comes up here. Can we get up here early? Yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking. All right, let's... We're gonna wait for him to turn around this time. We're gonna play it extremely safe. This is a good episode, though. With how many implosives and things like that I've been saying, this is a good episode to first record with that mic. I'll give you that much. It is a perfect first episode to record. Plus, I also have good internet. Now, oh, man, so much has changed since last time I recorded. I've been busy. I've been very busy, so it's like I haven't gotten to record as much as I wanted to recently. And in doing so, it's almost like I so much has changed. Like, we got actual, like, good internet now where we live. And it's like, man, oh, man. Like that's why. Okay, turn around. Okay, perfect. Should be good from here. I think. Yeah, we made it past him this time. I'm just gonna run. We're just gonna run it. Yeah. This is this like this type of architecture though. This, like this like level design kind of is what pe like when people talk about like Legend of Zelda being like or Dark Souls being like Zelda. This is kind of the stuff I think about like designs like this. Because, like, there's, I mean, Ocarina of Time playstyle, too, is, like, in the same vein, in my opinion. But this is, like, exactly what I mean by, like, it's, like, Dark Souls-esque. Dark Souls-esque. Anyways, let's keep on going here. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold the phone, Link. 
My guy, you gotta slow down. I know you wanna go save your sister, but chill, dude, chill. Three hearts. Why would I how would you lose a heart here? Even if you get caught, you don't lose hearts, which is kind of surprising. I'm surprised you don't lose hearts, but I mean I guess if you fight the guys and you're bad at fighting, but But I am a professional fighter. <laughs> Okay, yeah, enough about that dude. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going here. Ah, oh, my sword. There it is, my sword. My sword. Yay, so happy. Oh my gosh, it's a goblin. It's a goblin. Let's grab the sword. You got the sword. Here a sword you dropped, and now we're in business again. All right, let's go. Now we can actually play the game, dude. No, no, no. Jump, jump. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nothing. I love that music. It plays like that. Do, do, do. It's like, man, that's exactly what I want to hear. Like, you're like this hero. You're fighting. You're back in business again, dude. Can we attack on? There we go. Yeah, give me all those charms and stuff, dude. You got a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy. All right, well. There you go. I spread joy, my guy. Keep it. Yo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm taking this with me, hon. Oh, no, I can't take it with you. Dude, I want the big sword. I want the big sword. Well, there we go. We're in the roost. Out of the fire, or out of the kitchen into the frying pan. Or out of the fryer into the freezer. Oh my god, what is the saying? Anyways, it's our sister. Look at that. And a bunch of other girls. <laughs> Who are these other girls? Look at that seagull, dude. Look at that low poly seagull. I love the, I love the art style of this. Ooh, something suspicious. Yeah, there it is. Nothing good lasts forever, does it, Link? Are we gonna fight it? No, I don't think we're gonna fight this. Yeah, I don't think we're fighting it this early. This is one of those tropes I love in video games, when you, like, see something strong at the beginning of the game, and you can't fight it, you get, like, destroyed by it, and then you go back later after everything you've gained and learned, and you just destroy it. That's like the best part. That's like the best part of the games. Well, where's it taking us now? Yeah. Oh, <gasps> is that? Is that what I think it is? Is that? Oh my god. It's Ganondorf. It's Ganondorf! <laughs> okay, be stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeet. Goodbye, Link. And he was never heard from again. Yo, where's Tetra in all this? Is Tetra gonna help me out? And Link died. Well, maybe not. Well, what became of Link? King. King! Wake up, King! Who is this? Well, that's a perfect question and a perfect ending for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker.